Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to my Friday video. Roberto Bruno here, the pastor of the Central Apostolic Church in San Jose. God bless you, and I pray, as always, you had a super duper wonderful week in the life that you live, right? With your family, work, school, even though these things may be mundane, we could still be grateful and that God is blessing us, that we have another day of life and that we uh, can serve him, but also live our lives to the fullest. Amen. You know, God is so good. And uh, despite uh, what one thinks, God is still good. He is faithful. He is consistent, which that's what I like about him. He does what he says. Um, you know, and his, his conditions have no conditions, his unconditional love. And we just serve a wonderful and a, and a mighty God. And really one of our endeavors, right? One of our, our goals should be to know him more and more. Like the Apostle Paul said, if I could know him more, right? I mean, if we just kind of partially know him and things are so good, can you imagine if we knew him more? Um, I think sometimes as I've lived my Christian life, I think that, that God at times um, challenges us to obey him. And I know like obey or obedience can seem like a dirty word, right? A bad word. Uh, um, right? Because right away it means like, I can't do what I want to do or I need to live by your rules and obey doesn't necessarily mean that or, you know, um, or we can't live the way we want to live because we have to obey. And um, that's not what I'm talking about. I think, I think God challenges us to obey him in times and seasons of our lives where we may be in a battle or we're struggling or we have a trial or some hard decisions to make. I think sometimes when we find our pl ourselves in a place where, you know, we feel that our life is backed up against a wall, that he challenges us to obey him. I'm not necessarily talking about a hard and fast list of rules. Really what I'm talking about is trusting him. Right? Because if God says he's a gracious God, a merciful God, he forgives our sins, he hears our prayers, he's the deliverer of, of you know, of, uh, uh, out of our troubles, all of these, all of these great things, doesn't it take a certain amount of obedience, right? To believe or be obedient to the truth of God, to believe that that him that he's going to see us through and i think sometimes the challenge is to trust him in psalm 31 1 through 5 the psalmist here is really challenged but he understands the concept or he understands enough about god that he trusts him despite his weakness despite his inability to deliver himself. Now hear, hear this, my beloved. Hear it. You know, we're, we're a lot of self-made people. You know, we're stubborn. Or some of us are just, um, you know, really uh, committed to getting things done. So we struggle with trusting God, even though we know that that's a, a cliche almost, a Christian cliche. But here the psalmist says in Psalm 31, verses 1 through 5, he says, In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed to deliver me in your righteousness. He's saying a lot there. He's saying a lot. He's, I put my trust in you. I'll never be ashamed. Meaning, he probably has done some shameful things. But he's still not going to be ashamed. Because he trusts God. Because God delivered him. Why? Because of his righteousness. That's a lot. 
It says, it says a lot there. Bow your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. So we know he's in a, in a, a hot spot, right? He's in a challenging place because here he's saying he's going to be trusted God. He's not going to be ashamed. <coughs> the righteousness of the Lord's going to deliver him. But now he's saying, hear me, God, deliver me. You know, be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. So here he's saying, be my rock, be my fortress. And in the next breath, he's saying, you are my rock. You are my fortress. He's, he's, he has challenges. He's, he's being challenged. His faith, his trust is being challenged. His obedience to believe God, to believe his power, to, to believe his word is being challenged. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. That's a pretty powerful psalm <clears throat> because he's saying a lot. He's trying to believe God because in one breath, he's saying, you're it, man. You're, you're, you're everything. And the next is, listen, pull me out of the net. Yes, you're my rock and my fortress. Lord, please be my rock. Please be my fortress. My beloved, let's not allow the challenging times that we live in. Let's not allow our, our, our trials even our poor decisions, even our sinful nature of the addictions that we're in to govern us completely. But let's let's obey God by obey him by by enveloping or submerging ourselves in his faith, in I'm sorry, in his grace, in his mercy, in his love, in his understanding, in his forgiveness, in, in his loving kindness. Him being our shepherd, a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Him being the way, the bread of life, the, the you know, the, the, the fresh water that gushes. All of these things, my beloved, let's, let's obey God. Let's accept the challenge. Don't you want to be free? Do you want to be stuck in your stubbornness and, and arrogance and, and pride? And trying to get everything you want? God forgive, you're a narcissist? Do you, do you want to be stuck in these things? It's a genuine challenge, my brother, my sister. It's a challenge for people with a sin nature to be free. Why? Because the lust of our flesh tells us that we need this or that or more clothes or more of this or sexual con, Whatever, man. Whatever. I'm just trying to encourage you. I'm trying to encourage you that, 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 that the battle is real and the battle rages. But we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against powers and principalities in high places. You see? And there's a lot of us that really struggle with our pride. We really struggle with being trifling. We really struggle with being petty. Some people even rejoice in their pettiness. Please, my brother, my sister, we're living in desperate times where people need light, where people need hope, where people need strength. Let's not be so self-absorbed that we forget to obey God and to embrace all of the goodness that he has all of the strength that he has, all of the power that he has for us. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Accept the challenge. Accept the challenge and say, Lord, in the next week that comes, I will obey you, Lord. I will obey you. I will obey you and I will repent. I will obey you and I'll believe that my sins have been forgiven. I will obey you and know you'll evaporate the pain as long as I trust you. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Have a wonderful weekend. And I pray that, that I'll see you soon. God bless you.